playing sim games on the Oculus Quest. Hi guys, my name's Pete and welcome to The Verge. Have you ever wondered how to, to put text into a game when you're in virtual reality? It's really hard. I mean, you've got this thing on your face. You can't use your keyboard, you can't see it. Um, some people will touch type. Um, and some people like peek through a hole in their nose guard to see the keyboard. But that's still using a keyboard. I mean, this is virtual reality. You shouldn't need a keyboard. So I'm going to investigate two methods of using speech to text in game. Um, I'll compare them on the desktop first. Uh, one is good, one using Windows 10 dictation. Um, I think it uses an AI to make it better. And also voice attack, which I use for uh, game control, especially in Elite Dangerous. So um, I'll compare the two on the desktop and then try one out um, in game and Elite Dangerous and VR. So let's have a look. Hi guys, here we are at my desktop. I'm going to be um, just testing um, different, two different ways of converting speech into text in any text field. One is using Windows dictation, which is inbuilt, and the other one is using voice attack dictation. They both use the same training file. Um, in voice attack, I have added a, uh, a couple of voice commands. One's called text, and basically that's just starting dictation mode within voice attack and clearing the buffer as it does that, so anything left over is gone. Then I've got stop, which is stopping the dictation mode in voice attack setting the Windows clipboard to the contents of the dictation token, which is the buffer that has recorded what I've said, then pasting that into the text field that has focus. I use left shift numpad for that, but this control, whatever it is, which I don't use, and then I'll push enter. Um, you, if you're using this method, you probably may, or, or the other one, you may or may not want to do this in game because um, if you send, it's sent once you do enter, so um, you may not want to do that. And the reason for that will become apparent. So um, let's try this out. Hello, how are you? Text. Hello, how are you? Stop. You see it's put in the enter, so it's got a new line. Hello, how are you? Text. Hello, how are you? Stop. Not so good on that one for voice attack. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Text. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Stop. Okay. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Text. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Stop. Something a bit more topical here. Please, officer, don't kill me. Text. Please, officer, don't kill me. Stop. Please, officer, don't kill me. Text. Please, officer, don't kill me. Stop. Wingmen on me. Text. Wingmen on me. Stop. Wingmen on me. 
text wingman on me stop what do you want why are you here text what do you want why are you here stop what do you want why are you here text what do you want why are you here stop go away text go away stop go away text go away stop engage and kill them all coppla text engage and kill them all coppla stop engage and kill them all coppla text engage and kill them all coppla stop okay um for the fairly simple phrases windows 10 was as accurate voice attack tries and for slightly more sophisticated um yeah voice attack for some reason i think it's because windows 10 you're connected to the internet and it uses an ai to help recognition whereas voice attack doesn't i'm just making an assumption here and they i've trained voice attack using the windows training so they should be using the same training file so please officer don't kill me that was good um please and police and please officer becoming wingmen it has issues with wingmen probably because it's not in the dictionary um woman only okay well and although he okay that's not very good oh it's surprisingly good here um for both voice attack and windows um what you want a wire here oh well maybe not um, but yeah for i think these are simple words so that's why um go away that was pretty good not so good for uh voice attack um and of course um copla that's gonna have that's not in the dictionary it's um klingon for success for those who don't know and voice attack not very good anyway that was with my new zealand accent my thick new zealand accent but i've trained this using my accent so um yeah let's um try out a few games i'm going to do um elite dangerous first and i've got a this is in virtual reality which is the whole point of this exercise so i'm going to have a button assigned on my hotus for windows h key so i can start up the windows dictation and of course voice attacks running as well anyway let's uh try it out Hi guys. I am an Elite Dangerous in my Mark III Cobra by myself. Um, so we're just going to check out this Windows Station Beach Detects. Okay. Um, now I could just look up and see if you look away. You lose focus. Hello, how are you? Not too bad, how are you? So that's not a very safe way of doing it. You better just uh, use your controls to um, look up, look left, look down, look down, rather than headlock. So let's try that again. Hello. How are you? See, that was good. 
Please, officer, don't kill me. Awesome. Now I've also added um, another voice attack command. So voice attack's running as well. So um, in case you say something and it recognition is incorrect and you don't really want to send that out. I did not want to say that at all. Clear. Clear. So what that does is basically um, backspaces 20 times for every time I say that. But I did want to say this. Well, I didn't want to say that. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. See what I mean? Um, what else were we going to do? Is he looking at his notes? Through his nose hole. Alright. Okay, we'll do a couple. Oops. Gotta select it first. What do you want? Why are you here? What do you want? Why are you here? That's funny because it did work really well on WordPad. Um, what else have we got? Engage and kill them all. Cop la. Engage and kill them all proper. Yeah. Engage and kill them all. Oh well. Anyway. Um, there's, a, there's a background noise and that's the fans in my um, heating up case going... So, um, yeah, if that wasn't the case, like, I'm doing this wirelessly over a virtual desktop, so if I was in a different room, we wouldn't have that noise. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's see how we go here. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Awesome. All right. Um, that's the only game I'm going to do today. So um, leave a comment if you want me to look at more games or apps in VR that need text. Anyway guys, um, I will see you very soon in the outro. Copper. Well, um, that was interesting. Um, the Windows dictation um, seems to work. I mean, you've got to be careful though because there's still mistakes. So um, I've added in a few more commands to clear those up because in case you, you don't want to send out something that um, could be interpreted incorrectly. Anyway, I hope you liked that. Hit subscribe and check out my other videos and leave some comments if you want to give me some feedback on what I can do better and especially with um, speech to text. And um, yeah, um, I'll see you later.